Hi, y'all. So today, I'm actually just hanging out. I found a campground, finally. And look at that. Wow. I'm so excited. I'll be here for two nights. So hopefully, um, I can get some kayaking in. Try out my new kayak. But we will definitely see. This is really cool. So I have to go check in. And then my sight number is 48, which is my favorite number. So hopefully it's pretty. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited! lake is down here. I don't have a direct view of the lake, but man, look how pretty this is. Pretty. It's dinner time. I am hangry. Just a little bit. Um, <laughs> all I ate today was some um, ruffles, chips, and uh, I drink this. Canada is dry. And I had some water. Don't judge me in the bottle. I've had this bottle for a while and I found it in the freezer today when I was putting my food away. So figured out I might as well use it. Tonight's dinner is going to be, I think it's um, spinach and ricotta or spinach and feta ravioli, ravioli with some green beans. Um, in a, it's going to be in a dairy free fettuccine sauce that I found. I just kind of want to test it out, see how it tastes. On days like this, I have to actually dig in here to get the stuff out. So I have to move things around. So when I originally built this cabinet, the door was supposed to go all the way across, but I messed up on the size of the frame, and so I had to extend the frame. I didn't want to do it over again, and now, I mean, the cabinet is open all the way to the back, but the door doesn't open all the way, and I didn't want to take the time to have to redo everything so now I have to like dig through there to get crap out that I need <sighs> thank goodness I won't be needing a whole lot I just need this pan for my hot water so that I can wash my dishes with outside today and this pan for the rav ravioli and back here oh sorry oh way back here guys there's another pan that i need for my green beans there we go oh, my cast iron so i love this cast iron i suggest if you're going to be in a van get you a cast iron i have two two cast iron skillets and one cast iron um pot and i absolutely adore them so i'll meet you guys outside So I've been really itching to get outside of Walmart and Cracker Barrel to sleep. So much harder. So much harder over here on the East Coast to find like free camping. I paid 
like $50 for this camp spot for two nights. You know, I'm kind of sick about that. Tomorrow I'm going to go for a nature walk and I just heard some sandhill cranes and I looked up so I think there's a nest over there. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Uh, hopefully it's along the trail and I can show it and I can show it to y'all. I'm going to use this. This is the one I was telling you guys about. I'm going to try it. Let's see. See how that tastes. I really wanted to buy some land on the in the south somewhere I was thinking Florida northern Florida and created to, into a space I really I want a community garden uh, or a co-op garden and also um, camp spaces that I can rent out to only vans vans um, buses you know alternative living not RVs, you know, not fifth wheelers, trailers, or anything like that, but for the smaller van, for the smaller alternative living communities, because I cannot find places like that, and I think that that would be a great idea. So I'm trying to save money for that. Hopefully I'll be able to do that this summer and look for some, some property somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer. When you go around and you're looking for a place, you just want to kind of hang out. And this is, to me, this is like claustrophobic because even though we have our own spaces, we're just so close together. So it'd be nice to be able to create a community where we could, where there's space between the vans and then there's a community place inside of the park where if you want to hang out and have a campfire, like a group campfire or things like that. Um, I have this big idea in my head. It's on paper too, but I, just sitting here just makes me think about it even more because I'm just like, oh, like I got this spot. It's only for one night. Then I have to move to another site because the bigger RVs, they get here and they actually um, rent for like the whole weekend. And so it's, it's just really hard. So I'm hoping that I can change that. And yeah. I like to change that so I'm a dreamer but I'm a dreamer that like to make things happen if you guys know me then you know that that's true so that's something that I'm working on I'm also trying to work on stickers and things for the channel um, I have a teespring page but it's it's mainly geared towards hiking stuff so like shirts t-shirts about hiking and um, my group in Florida but I haven't done anything I haven't done anything that's specific to the channel. In one second. So that's what I mean. Like, they're so close together that it's just like, I don't know. So I, I just really want something that we can come to and it's just us, the little small folks, can hang out and chill, you know? So, yeah, those are dreams. But keep speaking upon it and it can come true. This is where I'm going to be pouring my pasta.
now, what I'm going to do is butter. you guys are thinking why put butter in there if you're going to use a non-dairy thing and that's because really milk is what bothers me a lot so I'll figure if I um, add so, it might help give it a little bit more creaminess I'm not a vegan. I'm just vegetarian. I'm just pescatarian. Let me clear that. <laughs> so, butter is all right with me. So that's the consistency. It doesn't look too bad. Wait a it. Looks yummy. Right. <laughs> See how these this taste here. Pray for me. All right, this is good. I 
I think if we do that. Yeah. I can definitely tell the difference that there's no, no milk in it as far as like cow milk. But not too bad. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's really pretty out. It's nice and cool. I don't feel sticky. Usually I feel sticky being next to the water, but I guess the humidity hasn't kicked in here yet. And the views are, huh, so different from being out in the mountains. Tomorrow I'm going to try to go kayaking, test out the kayak. If the weather is feasible because you never know what it's going to be so if the weather is feasible I'll be in my yak right now the water you can tell it's getting later the water's a little rough and man, it's beautiful the sun is getting ready to set I'm about to head back to Parker and chill for the evening isn't that gorgeous I think what I'm gonna do is watch some Netflix. Netflix for the win. Oh no, I have Galaxy, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I downloaded it from Disney, so maybe I'll do that or something. I don't know, but I'll catch you guys later. This is where I'm gonna be walking around in today. It's only a mile. called the Trotter Bluff Loop. I really need to learn how to identify these new bird calls that I'm hearing. So many of them.
I can hear something moving down there. I'm trying to see what it is. I don't see anything. Probably a squirrel. It is a squirrel. So I'm right. So the campground I'm staying at is like it's called the Douglas Dam Campground. Ooh, look at these trees. This is kind of cool. Critters probably living in there. Got holes all through them. Right. Right. Very cool. But it's called the Douglas um, Dam Campground, and it's right next to a dam. <laughs> so this trail is supposed to actually take me out, so I can see the dam. So we'll see if that happens. But I can smell fish and. From this side, I might be able to find those pretty, um, the nest for those, for the great blue heron. Look at this tree here, so pretty. Look at that guy. So the dam is down there somewhere. Hopefully, I'm hoping there's like an outlook. I hate when people carve on stuff. Jerks. Wow, look at this one. There's a little hole in there at the top. There's a lot of cicadas in the forest. This is an ectoskeleton. Kind of gross. I've been seeing them hanging around on stuff. <laughs> nope. It looks like somebody's home, but there's nobody there. And just like that, I did a mile. Very pretty.
Okay, so I got my trash together. Store up. Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell I'm gonna slant. Trash together. My pee bottle. I'm gonna do not that, but that's my pee bottle. <laughs> gonna go empty that out. In the rest area. So to avoid using my porta potty, I have a pee bottle that I use at night. Don't touch me. Or you can. I don't care. <laughs> Get all my stuff out of here. Ooh, it's really pretty outside. This is the view from my side. And the lake is down there. Head in that direction. Close the door so no cicadas get in there. There's a cicada in okay my window. <laughs> and I popped him out because he's like, I made a noise, like the cicada noise. I'm so sorry that I can't be having big giant bugs inside of the vehicle. Uh, we'll see the seat that way. This room is nice, but like I said, not very level. I think that this site right here is like the best site. Look at that, like you've got total view of the lake. I could be a camper host. Look at that view. Pretty as that. So. Just come up here and like kick back and relax. So this area here you can actually walk down. We'll walk over there. Um you can actually go swimming there. There's a little space. I want to go kayaking, but I haven't made it in the water yet. I need somebody to go kayaking with. Anybody in the Pigeon Forge area, <laughs> Knoxville, that wants to go kayaking, has a kayak? I want to go kayaking. Wow, there's even more sites that way. Cool. Garbage. <sighs> now to go to the restroom for this part. Don't think I need y'all. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. But if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe below so you can see all of my adventures. And I'm going to let y'all go right here so I can not procrastinate and get out of this campsite. So until next time, love and light.